안녕하세요 여러분 레이첼씨 반갑습니다 안녕하세요 니키씨 오늘의 라이브를 시작합니다 We're starting our live stream on Wednesday March 25th 아, 레이첼씨 아, Which country are you from, Rachel? 니키씨는 알아요 You're from Greece <웃음> 아 그렇군요. 뉴욕은 몇 시에? What time is it there? Is it 12 p.m. as well? 그래서 so, 오늘은 어, 이거를 시작하겠습니다. So I'm gonna give you guys a housekeeping rule. So when you join this live stream, please introduce yourself with your name and the country you're from. And also this is the interactive learning. So as you guys know, have your pen and paper ready. And also dictionary. Because I'm going to ask you questions throughout the stream, live stream. So whenever I ask you, I want you guys to answer in the live chat so that we can learn together. Um, don't be shy because we are all here to learn together. So if you have any questions, just stop me in the middle of it, doesn't matter. And we're going to go through. Uh, the lyrics that you want me to go through, go over again, or if you have any questions, just let me know. I'm going to answer you as much as I can. But however, this lyrics, it's very poetic. Which means that poetic means uh, sometimes you're going to have missing verbs or subject and object. And also another thing about lyrics is you may not understand exactly what it means because <laughs> they're very poetic. But it's okay. We're going to learn together. And today's song was recommended by Emma, uh, Emma Lota Tamen Lako, Lakos, uh, Lakso. <laughs> 네. 감사합니다. Thanks for the recommendation. This music is, um, I never heard this one either. I'm learning so much from you guys. And I listened to this music video. It's a little different. Uh, it's a lot of key changes in music and so many changes in their background. And their dance is like, <laughs> it's insane. Uh, so I had fun watching this music video, but it's a little chaotic for my taste, but it's got good lyrics. So that's all that matters. Correct? So 안녕하세요, Helen. Uh, I have a question for you actually, because you mentioned that your name is Helen. Aide. 반갑습니다, 아이데 씨. Where are you from? 헬렌 씨, how do you write your name in English? Is it Helen or Helen? I wanted to ask you. Aidechi, 반갑습니다. Where are you from? Lidu Anya. Oh, 
리두 아니야. 어디에 있는 거예요? Where is it? 리두 아니야. I'm learning so many countries too. Having live stream is great. 반갑습니다. So today I'm gonna go over this lyrics. Uh, housekeeping rule: K Style doesn't own this song, so we don't have any intention to infringe their copyright. And I'm gonna go through this lyrics, which is uh, 15 paragraphs today. It's a little long, but I'm also I kind of broke it down into smaller pieces. It's because I don't want to get any notification about copyright issue. It's Helen, but to be more easy, I took L from Helen. So it will be more easy to pronounce it. Oh. So when you convert your English name, or for example, your name is Greek, right? But English sound name to Korean name, you have to hear the sound first. Helen. It sounds like you have two R in Korean. If I say Helen, is it similar to your name? Or Helen, is it similar to your name? If it's Helen, it's going to be R underneath on the first syllable, Helen. If it's Helen, then that's correct. Okay, so this is the poster. Idare Sonia, that's Luna. Have you guys heard this group before? It's the first time for me. This group is also big. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. Wow. <gasps> 네, 니키 맞아요. 네, it's so many of them. It's insane. Wow. Liu Adi, Lidu Adia is uh, in Europe. Okay, I'm gonna look it up. Okay, so I'm gonna play this full video screen. This is the first part. Let's begin. I'm so Okay, that's the first part. We're gonna go here. I'm so bad. Okay, I gotta do this one. The subject is gonna be orange, like we always do. And blue is verb. I'm gonna underline blue for verbs and then pink for object. And then, I'm so bad, we already know, that's English. 늘 뻔한 다다답. I think they mean just talk by itself. But they wanted to have fun in the lyrics. 다다답. It's 답. 안녕하세요, 어드리 씨. 캐나다에서 오셨군요. 예. 늘 뻔한 다다답. 길게도 블라 블라 블라. 더 늘어지기 전에 보란 듯이. 걸러 겁내지 마. 늘 뻔한 다다다. 늘 뻔한. Okay. This is an adjective. Why would I know this is an adjective? 뻔하다. That's the verb. Which is to be evident. 뻔하다. By adding n becomes an adjective. This uh, to describe top. Okay? Top is answer. Top is the same thing as 대답. 대답 is answer. Also, top is answer. 늘 뻔한 답. Always evident answer. It's obvious. O always obvious answer. 기계도 blah blah blah. I guess somebody's answering very long, blah, 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 right? Some people do that. <laughs> 길게도, 길다 is to be long, by having 게 is long as an adverb. 
even long, 길게도, wow, so long. 더 늘어지기 전에 보란 듯이 걸러. So this is together, one sentence. This is 걸으다 verb. It's actually 걸으다. When you conjugate it, it becomes 걸러. So try to look up words in dictionary as I go through. That's a good practice for you. So 걸으다, that is to filter. 걸러, filter out. Whatever they're answering as, just filter out. 보란 듯이, 보란 듯이. And 듯이, this is as if. 보라다. This is a 보다, which is to see. 보라다. Telling somebody to see. Telling somebody to see is like look. As if I'm looking at it. I'm look as if um, telling you to look. 더 늘어지기 전에 before. This is before ending. Even though it's not verb, I'm still gonna use blue. 전에 is before 늘어지기. This is a verb, 늘어지다. 안녕하세요, Rachel. 보, 보다 by itself is uh, to see. 보라다 is to tell somebody to see. So tell someone to uh, see. Uh, let's see, uh, for example. Maybe there are three-way conversation. So Audrey and Rachel and I having conversation. And Audrey is uh, telling me, Rachel should do something. Rachel should do, uh, maybe she, uh, she should sing. And then I'm telling Rachel, oh, Audrey said that you should do that. She's telling you to do that. <laughs> So that is uh, lada. So sometimes we say as oh, hare. Somebody's telling you to do. In this case, porada. I'm telling you to look as if I'm telling you to look before it gets too long. Any longer, to is more. Durojida. This is to be like long as in if you do you know um, rice cake when you microwave rice cake it becomes really stringy that's like nurojida uh, we describe conversation as nurojida it should be straight to the point you're going around and round and nurojida so someone is answering, obvious answer, but before it gets too long, as if I'm telling you to look, I'm gonna filter out. Ki. Oh, 안녕하세요. 반갑습니다. Ki. 아이때. 아이때 씨. Ki는 you add ki. Uh, onto the verb root to make a noun. That's one way to make a verb into a noun. So you use ki because you have before. Before getting it too long. Before getting it any longer. So for example, 학교 가기 전에 일을 닦아요. I brush my teeth before I go to school. 학교 가기. 가다 verb is to go. I made it into a noun. 가기. 전에. Before going to school. Okay? 먹기 전에. Before eating. You add a key to verb root that becomes a noun. Okay? 걸러. Filter out. 겁내지 마. 겁내다, to get scared. 
chima, that's verb ending. What is chima? Hmm. That's don't. Don't get scared. I'm gonna just cut it out. Hmm? Filter out whatever you say before it gets too long. But don't get scared. <laughs> 맞아요. So I'm gonna play this part. Here we go. I'm so bad. 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 I'm so you can also find the link in the description box and I left a comment on that video. You can just click to get that. Okay, so the next part I'm gonna play in the full video. Second part. Okay, so go back to our study. The second part, Kolaba Ja, Tic Tac Talk. O Anim X Janni, Tokuke Shu Shout, Nodapke Ho Hat. They're playing words, having fun. So, Kolaba. I think we talked about this in the other video. Koruda verb. Koruda. You can look up words in your dictionary. Koruda. Okay. Ba. In this case, it's not to see anymore. It's used with another verb. It means something else. Can you please? When you finish, you repeat the meaning of the whole part. Which one? This one? Nikki? Repeat the meaning of the whole part, okay? So, always obvious answer. Long, even long, blah, blah, blah. Before it gets any longer, in this case, the answer, as if I'm telling you to look, I'm gonna Filter out. Cut it out. Don't get scared. Each part at a time you finish a part, repeat the whole meaning. Like the way I just did, right? Okay. So the second part. 골라봐자. 고르다, like I mentioned, this is a verb. To choose. 고르다 is to choose. 봐, it means something else. When it's used with another verb, it means something else. 보다. 그래요. Try. Try to choose. 자, 틱택토. What is 자 here? 자 can have different meanings. 자 can be a ruler. Do I have a ruler here? No, I don't. Or 자, if it's used with a verb, there is a space here, so it's not used with a verb. When it's used with a verb, it means let's. Let's do something. Exclamation mark, usually we use ne. Oh, okay, you mean like cha, um, exclamation. I feel like it's more like transi transitioning the conversation. Cha, in English? Uh, people will say, what do they say? Now. <laughs> they talk about A, conversation A. Now. Let's move on to uh, conversation B. Now, in English. But we say, ja. Making a transition to another one. Tic tac toe. That's what I'm guessing. O anim ex ni. O anim. This is actually anida. 
to be not. By having am underneath, it's actually a conjunction. I'm gonna put slash here to conjunction. Well, um, well, sounds like a filler words. I mean, it is a filler words, even cha. Well, it seems like well is still thinking. You're trying to formulate your thoughts while thinking. But cha in this case it is a little more confident. Cha, now, let's do this. Move on to something else. So here, anida is to be not. By having M, it's if, if not. If O is not, it's X. If O is not, it's X. So O, that means like, okay. X is like X, no, no. If yes, if it's, if it's not yes or no. <laughs> O 아님 X 잔니 잔니 I think I talked about 잔아 있잖아 I have something to say You know what? In this case, like an ending is You know X 잔니 Having 니 It doesn't really mean anything It's just making a friendly conversation Normally Adult will talk to kids like that. Oh, 그랬니? 잘 잤니? Blah blah 니? You know, making it friendly. So if O is not X, you know, ha, 더 크게, shoot, shout, more, 크, 크게. By having 게, it's an adverb here. 크다 verb is to be big. By having K, it's just big or louder. Oh, louder might be the good way to say for the context. Oh, uh, Rachel said that. Yeah. Actually, the sound is bigger, but normally we associate English word to louder. So, louder. In, Eng in English, you may add ER. When it's short, you just add ER. In Korean, we don't have such thing. We always say more something. More big. More loud. Shoot, shout. 너답게. 너답다. 답다 is to be like somebody. To be like something. In this case, to be like you. 너답게. Be like you means be yourself. 너답게. You did something and your friend is saying, Oh, 정말 너다웠어. It was just like you. Which means just like I expected that you would do it. 너답게. Be yourself. 호핫. I guess be yourself. Hot means I guess you're always hot. <laughs> 골라봐자. Try to choose. Now, tic-tac-toe. I don't know what this means actually. Why do we say tic-tac-toe here? If it's, if O is not, it's X, you know? Louder, shout, be yourself. Be like you, hot. So I'm gonna play second part. X and O like tic tac toe. What is what? Is, try to choose X or O. What's the mean? Tic tac toe. Oh, is it tic tac toe like a game? X or O? Oh, I see. Now I get it. Okay. <laughs> Ah, I see. 그렇군요. 안녕하세요, 오드리고. 반갑습니다. So I'm gonna play this.
이렇게 원몰 Okay, I'm gonna play the big screen for the three. Okay, this one is kind of short. So, number three. 에 감출 수도 없게 burn 오 달라지는 네 눈빛 감출 수도 없게 burn burn I think this is like a verb here burn something object we don't know burn what 감출 수도 없게 think of it as not to be able to 수도 없다. This is like the ending. 수 없다 is by itself, is ending. Cannot. Okay. 도 emphasize. Even. Even cannot 감추다. Hide. Actually, R underneath is part of can. 감추다. Look up the word 감추다 in dictionary. That's a verb to hide. R underneath is part of the can. Cannot hide. 감출 수도 없게. Think of it as not to be able to hide. Burn something. Not to be able to even hide. Maybe they're burning something. They want to destroy the evidence. We don't know what it is. Oh, 달라지는 네 눈빛. 네 눈빛. Even though it's written as 네, we've been studying lyrics many days. You guys know? Uh, 숨다. 숨다 is hide and seek. I hide in the closet somewhere. Hide and seek. That's 숨다. 감추다 is hide something. 숨다 you can actually use for hiding something too. But also use for hiding somebody. Like I hide. 난 숨었어. But I cannot say. Let's, let's see. That's a good question. 감추다 sounds like hiding something to remove the evidence. I'm going to look it up. Did you guys look it up in the dictionary? Kamchuda. It's like almost hiding evidence. Oh, it says hide, conceal. But sumta is hide, for example, hide and seek. That's a good question. If I don't have the answer right away, that means a good question. <laughs> so burn yourself. Oh. They, they, did they say burn yourself? I don't know. If they did say burn yourself in the intro, Meaning, maybe it means burn yourself. We can't tell. I come to the. It's weird. I, 나는 감췄어. Sounds like I hide something. I hid something. But if I say, 난 숨었어, means I hid myself. Only for object. 감추다, I hide something. 난 숨어서 I hide myself. Okay. So here, burn, you guys are saying that it's yourself. The object is missing here. Burn something, burn yourself to be able to 
height, even height. 오 달라지는 니 눈빛. 네, it's written as 네, but it's pronounced as 니. Because 네 sounds like 네, which is my. But in this case, it's your. So in lyrics, when you listen to it again, it's your as 니, 니 눈빛. It's in speaking form, 니. Your, I, this is I, light. Mean the way you look at somebody, 눈빛. If I look at you like this, 눈빛이 강해요. Your eye is strong. It's eye light. The way you look at somebody. 달라지는. This is 달라지는 describing your eyes. 달라지 is a verb. 는 makes the verb into an adjective. Your eye that becomes different. 지다 as part of verb, it has meaning of passively done. Become something. 다르다 by itself is to be different. 달라지다 is to become different. Stare, gaze. Oh, gaze is a good one. 눈빛. But gaze, would it be a noun? Or you gaze at somebody or something? 눈빛 is a noun. So when you're gazing at something, your 눈빛 is strong. Or your 눈빛 can be not as strong. Like you're tired. Means your 눈빛 is not strong. Gaze can also be a noun or a verb. Okay. So maybe gaze. Uh, how can I say your name? Livlovesvelix. Okay. 감사합니다. Thank you. So your gaze that becomes different. Hey. Wow. This is very scary. So meaning, if you're right, I'm gonna burn yourself to hide the evidence, to conceal. And then your eyes become different. 안녕하세요, Olivia 씨. Hmm, this is the scary part. Let's play. Number three. Oh, did you see that at the end she's gazing at you? That's why, number three. Hey, come to the hey, come to the okay. So, come to the burn something. I think that it's something, but you guys are saying yourself. Burn yourself. To be able to not even hide. Hide something. I don't know. Maybe the evidence. Burn something up. To be able to not even conceal. Uh, <laughs> I didn't have time to microwave my coffee. It, it is cold still. <laughs> you have good memory, Rodrigo. Rodrigo. <laughs> And then your gaze that becomes different. She was looking at you very straight up, right? At the end, the way she looked at you is very um, like this, strong. And then now I'm gonna play the full mode for number four. <laughs> Okay, so number four. Look at here. 까마득히 높단 벽 넘어 보일게 아찔한 눈앞 저 멀리 follow me. 까마득히 높은 높 높던 벽 넘어 보일게. That's one sentence. 
What's the verb here? Kamadiki do tambyok nomo boike. Verb always goes at the end of the sentence. Nomo boida. Nomo boida. Actually, boida might be the main verb, but however, there is two verbs. Um, two verbs here. Nomta and boida. Okay, nomta. That's the climb up. Nomta. Boida. What's the difference between boda and boida? Boda is to see, boida. To be seen, 맞아요. So I'm gonna climb up and to be seen. Think of it as a show. To be seen, but meaning I'm gonna be seen as in I'm gonna show you. Arke is will. I will climb up and be seen as in show you, but climb what? Finally, we have object. Climb. Pyo. 네, passive. Pyok is wall. Or you can think of it as obstacles in this context. But it is wall. Pyok. But what kind of pyok? We have adjective here to describe wall. Ton. That's the uh, another way to make verb into an adjective. Used to. In English, used to or had something. Had been high. In this case, is to be high. The wall that used to be high or had been high. Kamadiki. Kamadikada is far or remotely. Literally, the physically, it means to be far, but it could be also used for psychology perspective. If I say, I'm trying to finish all my homework, but it's so much work, like overwhelming amount of work, and I can say, ah, oh, 정말 까마득해. Really? Remotely far, as in, I'm not even close. 정말 까마득해. It's so far. In this case, far as in really high, remotely high wall. So I will climb the wall that had been high remotely and be seen. Will. 아찔한 눈앞 저 멀리. There is no verb here. I don't know what the verb is. In this case, follow me. 저 멀리. In this case, 저. What do you think that is? Oh, Rachel. Um, you could say the wall that was high, but that is past tense, literally. In Korean, we don't really care too much, but I was being very technical. But if I want to say like past tense, 높, uh, 높은, I could make that into a 높은, 은, 높은 벽, 까마득히 높은 벽. Normally, we add nun to be present. But it sounds weird if I say 높는 벽. It's weird. 높은 벽. That is, was high in the past tense. But it is weird. You know why? 높은 by itself to be, uh, can be high as an adjective. It is strange. But in this case, maybe think of it as um, used to be high or like you said maybe was high 
sometimes it's not always a clear cut <laughs> and where were we uh, that which is far okay oh that's good Rodrigo oh 좋아요 아찔한 눈앞 저 멀리 저 is that 맞아요 저 don't get confused with I in this case that far that far away 아찔한 dazzling 눈앞 in front of my eyes in front of eyes front 전 emphasize that it used to be that way, but it's, it isn't anymore and was high in the past. Still could be. 전, yeah, 전 is emphasize that it used to be. 제가 음, 들었던 노래. The music that I used to listen to. If I say like that, I used to means I no longer listen to the music. But in this case, 높던 벽 used to be high, but it seems like it is still high. That's why it is a little vague. Like she will show you how to overcome obstacles you thought were too high or far in the past. Hmm. Or maybe. So I will climb up and show you the wall that maybe Rodrigo said you thought that it used to be high remotely. Yeah. I didn't in front of my eyes, in front of eyes, it's dazzling. Dazzling in this case, uh, it is dazzling, right? Uh, dizzling, sorry. Dizzling? <laughs> Dazzling is different from dizzling, right? Dizzing. Is it dizzing? I'm learning new words too. Dizzing. Is that a word? It's just kind of scary. That far away. Follow me. Does it make sense? The front of my eyes is very dizzy. That far away, follow me. How are you doing, Nikki? Nikki, is everything okay? Okay, I'm gonna play this part four. As I already repeated many times, I will just play. Okay, one more time. Number four. Okay, and then now I'm gonna play in a full screen. Number five. Okay, so we go back to our study. 가시도 친게 so what? 얼음 같은 게 so what? 겁이 없는 게 bad? 어때서? 가시 도친 게. Here, this is one sentence with English phrase. So what? This. 가시도 친 게. 가시도 치다. 도치다 means to be, um, let me see, I wrote it down. A sprout. 가시 is thorn. When you have roses, stem, there is a thorn, it's sprouting. 가시 도친 게. In this case, you can describe somebody as 가시도치다. Somebody who's very sharp. Uh, 너 가시도쳤어. 
some sometimes we can say somebody. 가시 도친게 being sharp as in being cranky. So what? This is an ge. That's a subject, right? This part being sprouting, meaning being sharp. Yeah. 얼음 같은 게 같다 is to be same. Having un that's an adjective for ke. So you can make a verb into a noun by having adjective plus ko. Ko plus subject particle becomes ke. Right? So being what? Ice. Being ice, so what? 겁이 없는 게 bad. I don't know why they said bad. I think it's a good thing. 겁이 없다. 없다 verb into an adjective. 겁 없는. Okay. Becomes a noun. Being not having what? 겁. Fear. 겁 is fear. Autumn, 네, ice. Uh huh. Autumn is ice. 네. Cup is fear. So, e subject particle. I don't have fear, meaning not being fearful. So, this is an uh, subject now. Not being fearful, bad. I don't know why they said bad. It means maybe badass. <laughs> it's a good thing. 어때서? This one is uh, expression. I don't know how to break it down, but I feel like I thought about it. 어때서? 어때서 그래? Why are you being like that? How is it that you are being like that? 어때서 그래? <laughs> it's omitted. 어때서 그래? How is it like that you are being this way? 어때서? So what? This is an expression. So maybe think of it as just so what? 가시 도친게 Being sharp, so what? Being ice, as in being cold. Describing someone. You are being ice, as in you are being cold. Being cold, so what? Being not fearful. Bad. So what? Seeing bad in the background, it's just to make it sound better. Oh. If you don't have any fear, you're bad. Uh, I think they mean badass. <laughs> it's a good thing. Bad as in, yeah, in a good way. Badass. <laughs> Okay, I'm gonna play four. Oh, sorry, it's five. Okay, one more time. Five. So I'll play the full screen for six. Mm-hmm. Nice. This part reminds me of a song I used to make as a really bread child. No, no, no. <laughs> It's like someone's whining a bit. <laughs> Not sure I should do that here. But if you want to chat, practice. Korean Nikki. Mmm, that's good. Yeah, you guys are here for the same reason. Improving Korean. Yeah, team up. 
I'm so bad. 그게 어때? How is it like that? Right? How is it that? As in, this could be also interpreted as so what? 그게 어때? 음, 네. But let's get down to the grammar. 어때 is how plus be. 어때요? How is it? How plus be? 그게 the thing as a subject. How is that? 뭐 어때? How's what? As in 뭐 어때? This, this is also the same thing as 어때서 here. 뭐 어때? So what? We say this as so what? 어때? How's what? As in so what? 더 자유롭게 자유롭다 that's to be free 바이 해빈 게 it's freely more freely so doesn't give x <laughs> so they're just i don't care i'm so bad how's that i'm so bad what, how's what, as in so what? I'm so bad. More freely. I want all the freedom. So I'm going back to six. Okay. So I'm gonna play sevens in a full screen. Let's see. Seven. I'm gonna put here. I broke it into smaller pieces so that I don't get any notification that I'm infringing copyright. 박차고 일어나 달리는 법 떠오르게 해줄게 뜨겁게 널 끌어내 더 박차고 일어나 달리는 법 I don't think there is a verb. It's omitted. 법이 뭐예요? I'm gonna consider this as just object now even though I don't know if it is because it's a missing verb. 법 is way. 맞아요? Way has an adjective here. 달리다. That's a verb turned it into an adjective. 달리다 to run. Having nun becomes an adjective. But 일어나, another verb. But it's just conjugated. 일어나다 becomes 일어나. So I think that there is conjunction because there are two verbs like this. 일어나. When there is a hidden conjunction, it's either because or and then. I feel like based on the context, it is and then. 박차고, 박차다, it's kick. Also, get, uh, let's see, kick, overcome. 박차다, imagine this motion. Oh, let it go, 박차다. Kick or overcome. I looked it up, it says overcome also, maybe it makes sense. Go is and another conjunction verb go that is and as a conjunction kick and get up and then run that kind of method so this whole thing is describing method method that i kick and get up and then run Verb is missing here, main verb. 떠오르게. 떠오르다. That's rise up. Having ke, you know this is an adverb here. This is not adverb, just you know. 
because it's part of Aike. Right? This one. Part of Aike. Will. I will what? Hejuda verb. This is Hejuda. Hejuda. When Juda is used with another verb, it means something else. It doesn't have meaning of to give anymore. It means doing the first one as what? This is do. Favor. 맞아요. Doing the first verb as a favor. I will do it for somebody as a favor. I will do it for you. 떠오르게. In this case, rise up as an adverb, but think of it as to make it rise up. To be rise up. Okay. I will do it for you to be rise up. Or to rise up. Makes sense. 뜨겁게 널. You as an object. Because R underneath is object particle. 끌어내. That's a verb. 끌어내다. 해주다 is to do as a favor. I don't know because it's lyrics. So we can only guess. I will do it for you to rise up. We don't know what they're trying to do. <laughs> hmm. Maybe referring to this way? I'm not sure. This is lyrics, that's why we can only get so much. 뜨겁게 널 끌어내. I will take you out, drag you out. Hot. 뜨겁다 is to be hot. 게 is an adverb. So, 뜨겁다, okay, becomes just hot as an adverb. I will drag you out hot more. 박차고 일어나 달리는 법. The way that I kick and run, I kick and get up and run. 떠오르게 해줄게. I'll do it for you to rise up. 뜨겁게 널 끌어내 더. I will. Take you out. It doesn't say I will, but I'm just saying I will take you out hot more. So, number seven. Okay, one more time. Seven. Wow, they're everywhere. They're in the parking lot and subway, like they're in castle. They're everywhere. It's crazy. Eight. Eight. Okay, they're in arcade too. I'm sure it took them a long time to make videos, unless there is a, all background is fake, maybe animation. There are so many members. <laughs> Everybody has to pitch an idea. I want the arcade. I want the subway. <laughs> so eight. 널 위한 세상의 중심은 너. 비좁은 세상은 너. 좀더 높이, 가볍게 skip. 엄마 연필. 널 위한 세상의 중심은 너. Verb is missing. You, I feel like it's be verb. In that case, you is an object. What is you? 중심. As a subject noun. 중심. That is center as a noun. Center is you. But what kind of center? 세상의 중심. Center of the world. This is possessive. That's why I say 세상에. 
We don't say 세상의 when it's possessive. 세상에. Center of the world for you. 위하다 is to be for. By having an is an adjective. This is adjective to describe center of the world. The whole thing I will just describe 중심. Maybe. I'm making it even more complicated. The center, what kind of center? The world center. What is that for? Which is for you. 널 위한 세상의 중심은 너. The center of the world is you. But the, the world is for you. It's mathematical. But funny thing is, the person like me who grew up and raised in Korean society and is speaking Korean as native speaker, we never think about this. <laughs> it's weird. Even number system, Korean number system and Chinese number system, I never knew actually that I was choosing different system for different things. It's weird. Yeah, it's mathematic. 비좁은 세장은 no. So 세장 is the bird case. I meant subject. 세 is bird. 장 is the place. If I say 수영장, that's pool. 수영 is swim, 장 is place, normally is public place, 수영장 is swimming pool, 농구장 is basketball court, 테니스장, tennis court, 세장, bird cage, 비좁은, that's uh, to be narrow, to describe 세장, narrow bird cage, is not so no is the I guess it's a verb here to be not maybe no for that 좀더 높이 a little bit more high 가볍게 가볍다 is to be light by having 게 is adverb so in English just light light skip on my feet the world center is you, for you. Narrow bird case, no. A little more high, light skip on my feet. I'm gonna play eight. Okay. That's the thing I don't get. It doesn't match with the lyrics, where they are. They're not in birdcase, nothing. They're in subway, and now they're in arcade. Okay, I'm gonna play 9. Study. 좋아, 어서 따라와 봐봐. 이끌린 대로, don't worry, ha. 강렬한 슈, 샥, 벌써 난 can't stop. 좋아, good. 좋다 is to be good. Means it's good. 좋아. So verb, 어서 따라와 봐봐. Think of it, there is a period here. 따라와. I think we went over in the other stream. Tara wa. This verb is from old verb. To come. Doesn't it also mean like that? Ancient Greek. Oh, 그래요? You mean ancient Greek is also like math? 
Doesn't it also mean I like it? Oh, oh, I like it. Oh, oh, you could say I like it. Uh, 좋다, which is to be good in grammatical structure because it doesn't allow an object, but it's interpreted as I like it sometimes. Technically, like, it's 좋아하다, to like something. 좋아, that's, it's good, but it's often interpreted as I like it. See, for example, this cold coffee that Rodrigo talks about, I like cold coffee. 저는 차가운 커피를 좋아해요. I use 좋아하다, right? 저는 차가운 커피를 좋아해요. However, I can also say 저는 차가운 커피가 좋아요. That's 좋다 verb, but I have to use subject, noun only. 저는 차가운 커피가 좋아요. So in this case, in grammatical sense, it's, it's good. But you could also interpret it as I like it. Depends on how you want to say it. 어서, quickly, 따라와. 오다 verb is to come. 따라 is copying this verb. So in this case, it's follow. Follow me. Me is missing. Follow me quickly. Right? I think I talked about it. 따라하다, copying what I do. Means do what I do. 따라해. Right? Copy what I do. Copy to come means follow me. Baba. Why do I see Baba twice? Is this a mistake? Baba. This both side verse, technically there should be a space, but I copy and paste it from neighbor. Baba, check it out. Mm. That's good. That's good interpretation. 보다 is look. It's like blah blah. <laughs> uh, not in this case. <laughs> 보다 is to see when it's used with another verb, it means try. In this case, the second why is try? The first why is to look. Try to look. In English, you may say take a look. Take a look at it. So maybe Rachel, you may be right. In interpretation, you can also say, yeah, check it out. Take a look. Check it out. 이끌린 대로, don't worry. 이끌리다. To be drawn. By having an is the adjective. 대 is road or way. So way that is drawn to you. The way that is drawn to you. Don't worry. Go with the flow. That's what it means. 이끌린 대로. Go with the flow. The way that's drawn to you. 강렬한, powerful, shock. 강렬한 adjective. 벌써 넌, already, you can't stop. They used English as part of the sentence. You as a subject. Already, you can't stop. 좋아, good, I like it. 어서 따라와 봐봐. Quickly follow me. Take a look or check it out. 이끌린 대로, don't worry. Way you're drawn to you. Don't worry. 강렬한 shock. Powerful shock. Already, you can't stop. 벌써 난 can't stop. Very powerful. So, 구 here. Mm -hmm. 
어, no. You can say no. No is you, right? But if you have subject particle, you could add either no, 는, or you can add n underneath here. That's why I knew that this is subject. No is you. None is you as subject. So if I say, for example, no plus r underneath, null, this is object. Because it's from 너를. You could say 너를, which is object particle, but you could just add r underneath, null. So one more time. Okay, I'm gonna play in full screen for 10. Okay, that's a short part. So now 10. It's pretty short one. 에 불꽃으로 날려 burn. 오 뜨거워진 네 눈빛. I think we've done this. 불꽃으로 날려. They can be the new sentence. Burn something. 불꽃으로 날려. 날리다. So if I say 날다, is to fly. But in this case, you need to look up for 날리다. 리다. It's also passively done. To let it, let something fly. Let it fly. Or you can be to blow something. But we don't know which one is which. The object is omitted. 으로. By. 불꽃. I think we talked about this in the other stream. 불꽃 is a popular word for lyrics, I guess. <laughs> 불 is fire, 꽃 is, uh, yeah, 불 fire, 꽃 flower. Sometimes we say 불꽃 as fireworks, 불꽃 축제, fireworks festival, 불꽃. But you can also think of it as a flame here, or spark. Uh, let it fly as, I'm gonna consider this as as, let it fly as flame, or let it fly as a fire spark. 오 뜨거워진 네 눈빛, your gaze that becomes hot. 지다 also has meaning of passively done, that becomes hot. By having an is the adjective, right? Your gaze that becomes hot. This is pretty short sentence. Let it fly as spark, which is a fire spark. Your eyes or your gaze that becomes hot. Number 10. So I'm gonna play the full screen for 11. Okay. So now they're back in uh, subway. <laughs> so we have total 15. Okay. So we've done well over halfway. Good job. 11. 가장 높이 빛난 별. 잡아 볼게. 기다렸다면 끝없이 follow me. 가장 높이 빛난 별. 잡아 볼게. Verb. This is the same verb. 보이다. 
We already talked about it. But another verb, 잡다. 잡다 is conjugated to 잡아. 잡다가 뭐예요? High shining star. You mean 가장 높이 빛난 별. 음, 어, 맞아요. 높이, this is the high, but highest, right? Because it's most. 빛난, this is shining. 빛나다, to describe star. But this verb, oh, I didn't mean to do all verb, uh, like a verb color. Actually, I didn't mean that. 빛난, 별. 잡다 is to grab. Hidden conjunction, I think, and then. Grab and then. 보이다, like I mentioned, to show. To be seen or to show. I will grab the star that is highest and shining. Uh, brightest. Okay, that's a good one. Brightest. And then show it to you. You is missing. 기다렸다면 끝없이. In this case, 면 is conjunction. 다면, this is hypothetical if. 기다리다 becomes past tense. 기다렸다면. 기다리다 is to wait. If you are waiting, we don't know for what. If you're waiting, why 가장 isn't verb here? Oh, 가장? Most. Most. This is not a verb though, right? Most high becomes highest. Actually, 높이 is actually a verb, adverb too. 높이 high as in adverb. 높은 is high as an adjective. That means let's go. 가자. Oh, 네. 가자 is a verb but with let. 네. 자 is let. 가 is a go. 네. Meaning of let's go. Mm, I see. So you're confused with 장 because it has 장 here. If you know too many words, sometimes they jumble together. <laughs> 기다렸다면, if you're waiting, 끝없이. 없이. This is uh, without the end. 끝. It's a noun. Without the end. Follow me. Without the end, I don't know if they're connected together. Without the end, if you've been waiting. 끝없이, without the end, it could be interpreted as forever because there is no end. Forever. 끝없이. So I will grab the star, the brightest star that is highest and show it to you. If you've been waiting forever, mm -hmm. follow me. 힘들겠다. <laughs> 뭐야? <laughs> okay, 11. So now I'm gonna go to 12 by playing the full screen. I played a little more this time. <laughs> I 
느낌이 와 터질 듯한 심장을 믿고 넌 멈추지 마. 온 세상을 누비고 유난히 더 눈부실 tonight. 느낌이 와. That's a one sentence. 오답을 뭐예요? To come. What comes? 느낌. 느낌 is actually noun from 느끼다 verb. 느끼다 is to feel as a verb. By having m underneath, this is one of the ways to make verbs into a noun. 느낌, feeling. As a subject, this is subject particle. Feeling is coming. 느낌이 와. But it's weird context in English. In English, People will say, I got the feeling. Feelings coming. In, in, in Korean, it's I got the feeling. I, I got the feeling. 터질 듯한 심장을 믿고 넌 멈추지 마. There is conjunction. Conjunction, go. End. Verb here, 멈추다, with don't ending. And then another verb, 믿다. 그쵸? So, believe what? Oh, this one, don't touch. 멈추다. 멈추다 is stop. So, in this case, you don't stop. In this case, trust or believe, object, 심장, heart. Believe, heart. Where are you now? Because I assume in Korea. Oh! 저는요, 캐나다에 있어요. <웃음> 알스테. 어, 지난번에 오신 것 같은데. 알스테 씨. I think you've been here before in live stream, right? Well, is this your first time? I I 네. 알스테 씨. 왜냐면요, I live in Canada in Ottawa, so in Easter time, it's, uh, I think one of the followers here uh, is in, in New York. I think we are in the same time zone. <laughs> yeah, you thought I was in Korea at 3, 3 a.m. My parents are in sleep right now. <laughs> yeah. So... 터질 듯한 This is as if 터지다 verb To be burst 지다 at the end is passively done 터지다 To be burst uh, 7.25 p.m. 그렇군요 Battery is low Please recharge in time You know this um, This thing I got the battery doesn't last long. So I have to charge it. Okay, 터지다 is to burst. Is low. Oh my god. Please recharge in time. Okay. Power off. Okay, power off. To be burst, R time. This is as if again. But describing 심장. 듣하다 is as if but adjective here okay mm -hmm. so 
Believe your heart. What kind of heart? As if it's gonna be burst. This is a future adjective. As if it will be burst. And you don't stop. Okay. Don't wanna wait no more. 온 세상을 누비고 유난히 더 눈부실 tonight. I think the verb is missing here. But we have conjunction which is go and 누비다. 누비다, that is move around. Okay? 누비다. 온 세상을. Entire world. Move around. In this case, moving as in like moving your house. It's like go around. Be everywhere. So move around entire world and 유난히. Unusually as an adverb, more 눈부실. This is a 눈부시다 verb with R underneath adjective. Describing tonight. 눈부시다. This is to be dazzling. De dazzling, right? Which is uh, your eyes gonna be blinded by the light. Dazzling. The tonight that will be dazzling more unusually. 온 세상. Ah, this one is not oda. 온 세상. Maybe on has different meanings. This is not part of oda. On by itself. On 세상. Entire world. If you look it up in dictionary, it says on. Can you see? Or maybe you cannot. Anyway, you can look up the word. On has another meaning. It could be come as adjective. In this case, it's entire. Entire as adjective by itself. So, I got the feeling. Believe your heart that will be burst and you don't stop. Move around entire world and then verb is missing. Think of it as be verb. It will be tonight that will be dazzling more unusually. I use neighbor dictionary. But in any dictionary that you use, you need to understand what form of word you're looking for. If you look up words, try to make sure you look up words in dictionary form. Sometimes you may get wrong result. So in this case, you're gonna look up 멈추다 rather than 멈추지. Part of the, part of don't, right? It's weird. Even 믿다 you have to understand this is a conjunction and look up mitta. And this one unconjugated to oda. It makes more sense. Otherwise, sometimes the result is not what you're looking for. Okay? So 12. Okay, we have a couple more. Thank you for sticking around. Let's do 13. Okay, like I mentioned, this song is a little long. 
the lyrics is all unique in a way. So there are a lot to go through. 더 붉게 타올라 원한다면 가져가 거침없이 빛나니까. 타올라 Think of it there is ending there. 타오르다. 타다 is to burn. 오르다 is come up, right? So burning up. 타오르다. You can find result as to be ignited. 더 붉게. More hot or more red. 붉다 is to be red. 빨갛다 is also to be red. But 붉다 is like reddish. More red. 원한다면 가져다. Ending here. 가져 is actually the verb. This 다 is in, at the end, but it should be actually in the middle of it. 다 가져. But sometimes we use object after verb. Especially in speaking format or lyrics, sometimes we kind of like switch around. But verb has to be at the end. 가져 is 가지다 verb. To have. So 다 in this case, it's not part of the verb. It's actually object. Have everything. 면 conjunction 다면 this is if, hypothetical if, one hada verb, want. Want is same sound, one hada. Easy to remember. If you want it, have it all. 거침없이 빛나니까. 빛나니까. 니까 here, because. Because, 빛나다. To be shining. Because it's shiny. Without, we went through this one already. Opshi is without noun. This is a noun. Kochida. Verb is kochida. Look up the word. By having M underneath, becomes a noun. Kochida, it's a. Uh, 거침없이 together is without hesitation. 거치다 by itself. Let's see. Um, 거치다. To hesitate. The second meaning in the neighbor dictionary. Or to be stuck. Go through. There are many different meanings. 거침없이 together without hesitation. 그래서 so, something is shining without any hesitation. We don't know what. 더 붉게 타올라. Burn up more red. 원한다면 가져가. If you want it, have it all. 거침없이 빛나니까. Because it's shining without hesitation. You can have it all. It's still gonna be shining. Without any hesitation. 거침없이. Without hesitation. What are the adverbs that we can use in English? I think there should be a better word for that. Burn hotter. 타올라. 타오르다 is uh, a burn hotter. Actually, hot is 뜨겁다. So if you, what you're saying, then it should be 뜨겁게. 뜨겁게 타올라. That's burn hotter. 더 뜨겁게 타올라. Mm, ah, I see. You mean the context. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe the, based on the context, interpretation, maybe more red means more hot, I guess. Yeah. Good. So 13. Okay. One more time. Okay. 
I play this part 14. Okay, so go back to our study 14. We have two paragraphs left. 좀더 박차올라. Oh, sorry. 벅차올라. 가능성을 열어놔. 절대 너 막을 수 없게. 좀더 벅차올라. I looked it up. 벅차오르다. It's not really common to say in English. Bubble over with. I feel like it's like 벅차오르다. In feeling, it could be overwhelmed. Something is coming, like tide is coming. 벅차올라. Dun 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 dun. A climax. <laughs> if you look up the word in neighbor, it says bubble over with. Is that a common expression in English? 좀, 좀더 벅차올라. A little more bubble over. 가, 가능성을 열어놔. Yeah, the anti anticipation. 벅차올라. Like overwhelming. In a good way in this case. 열어놔 is two verbs that connected. 열다 is to open. 놔 is from 놓다 verb. When 놓다 is used with another verb, it's a leave it on. Okay? So 열어놓다, leave it open. Leave something open in this case. Leave something open. But what? 가능성. Leave the possibility open. 절대 널 막을 수 없게. In this case, in order to not be able to. 을수 없다. This is can't. Think of it in order to not be able to 막다. Block or stop you. Never. It's not two double negation. It doesn't cancel out each other. It's just emphasizing it's never. 절대 널 막을 수 없게. Not to be able to ever stop you. 좀더 벅차 올라. 좀더 a little bit more bubbling over. A little bit more having anticipation, like Rachel said. 가능성을 열어놔. Leave the possibility open. 절대 널 막을 수 없게. In order to be able to, in order not to be able to stop you ever. 절대 널 막을 수 없게. In order not to be able to stop you ever. Okay, 14. Okay, The last paragraph. Ready? We're gonna play in the full clip. Oh, I love that. This part. Is this the uh, earth? Burning up earth? <laughs> 15th, 강렬한 네 맘을 burn. 오, 달아오른, 달아오른 이 느낌, hey. 맘을 가둔 유리벽, 넘어 보일게. 
눈부신 세상 더 멀리 follow me 강렬한 네 마음을 I say 네 마음을 burn burn what? they're using burn as a verb here burn what are we burning? your mind 마음 is the same thing as 마음 Sometimes we write or say it's mom. Your mind. What kind of mind? 강렬한. Powerful. Burn your powerful mind. 달아오른 이 느낌. This feeling. We don't know if this is a verb or sub, um, subject or object. Because the verb is missing. Let's say it is. It is this feeling. 달아오른. 달아오르다 with an underneath is an adjective. So heat up. This heat up feeling. 마음을 가둔 유리벽 넘어 보일게. Another one. The same. 넘어 보이다. We've gone this, uh, done this many times. 넘어, climb up, 보이다, show, will. I will climb up and show you. What? What are we climbing up? Again? 벽, wall. But in this case, glass wall, 유리벽. And then, 유리벽 has an adjective. Mm -hmm. 두다, 가두다. 가두다 is lock up. By having an is an adjective for glass wall. Lock up what? 마음을, mind. This whole thing is an adjective clause for glass wall. I will climb up the glass wall that locks up mind. In this case, that uh, limit your mind, I guess. Lock up mind. I will show you. 눈부신 세상 더 멀리. 눈부신, again, that's a like bright, shiny world. 더 멀리. There is no verb here. Again. It's the bright world more far. Follow me. 강렬한 네 마음을 burn. Burn your mind. What kind of mind? Strong, powerful mind. 달아오른 이 느낌. It's this heat of feeling. 마음을 가둔 유리벽 넘어 보일게. I will climb up the glass wall that locks up mind and show it to you. 눈부신 세상 더 멀리. The bright world more far. Far away. Follow me. This is the last part. Oh. Okay. <laughs> One more. Okay. So that's it. The last one, these ones, they're repeating. The same thing as five and six. You can get the full lyrics in the description box and find the link of the music video that I use for the stream and please uh, like button click the like button for this live stream and also leave the comments that's gonna help the algorithm that's what they say leave the comments about what you learned from this live stream that's gonna help the channel and means the world to me and tomorrow I'm gonna do another K-pop series 
somebody asked for a one of the um, I think boys song and there is another request for K-pop I probably go back to either drama and switch it up because we've been doing K-pop for a while and then and then go back to K-pop kind of alternate because this is my first time when do you always stream I've been doing it at noon 12 p.m. Uh, Eastern time okay I've been doing it this is a special live stream series for this outbreak <laughs> So I've been doing it and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. This is the ninth live stream. Some people have been following me every single day. So it's not really difficult to miss because it's always at 12 p.m. Until further notice. <laughs> so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the day. Then see you tomorrow. Annyeong. Every day. <laughs> Annyeong.